Hello everyone, this is ASMRF today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today. I'll show you how to edit a photo uh, which is outdoor portrait photo of a child and I'll show you how to edit that. Uh, this one is good photo and uh, you are watching here the just a background is good, uh, all the colors is good but uh, this one is not properly in a light chain and um, the other things okay let's start our tutorial before start our tutorial uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend you will get uh, the latest notification if you subscribe okay uh, i'm just making a copy up by pressing ctrl g or dragging or dropping over there for the filter and the camera filter from the camera filter i'll adjust the lights and colors of the photo actually and highlights other things actually okay here's the exposure i'll want to just increase a little bit contrast a little bit highlight i'll decrease the highlight and here is the temperature and tint and i will adjust this one i'll make it a uh, little bit warm uh, and the tint i'll make it like that okay after that the shadow i'll give some shadow that means the just down the shadow in a minus areas and whites i'll down the whites a little bit and just blacks you can uh, just do it uh, manually how to do that press the alter button and when you are getting some dots over there just leave your cursor you'll get a um, just a decent shadow over there and white also press the alter button and when you are getting dots a little bit then just leave your just mouse or cursor okay then blacks again when you are getting a little bit dots over there just leave it or you can make it or do it manually whatever you can want okay and clarity 3% that's good and I'll make it more warm like that yes I think that's good okay and the variance little bit and saturation little bit the basic panel is done and then i'll go to the hsl from the hsl the hue saturation and luminance hue for the color if you want to change red to pink and red to orange and orange to green this one is the hue and the saturation now how deep your color you want and the luminance how luminate and um, you want to do that that means um, how bright your color will be okay now uh, in a just green saturation I'll decrease the green saturation and the luminance I'll just make it like that okay if you want to get the saturation okay a little bit okay not too much okay after that the hue you can make it like that or you can make it like that but uh, i think the middle point not too much green um, that means the yellowish and not too much the aqua uh, just keep like that i'll edit this one um, later by using the camera calibration so uh, when we are in a just hsl option then we can do the color correction like that okay and the saturation of aqua mm, little bit and the orange i'll add some orange and yellow and the luminance of orange i'll just decrease just because of phases and um, uh, orange and red combination and yellow also and i want to make it more prominent that's why i i'm just making it uh, just uh, just decreasing the orange color okay after that go to the effect and add some vignette over there can i adjust this okay i can adjust this okay from the camera calibration i'll make like that the yes that's good the color the grass color and the face color of the baby i can do that 
okay and primary green color i can make it like that or like that but i'll make it plus two and the saturation plus three and the saturation of primary blue color i'll make it like that okay that's good and from the now the curves toner curves toner curves and from here blue i'll just place the point over there and make like that and the green i'll just do like that okay that's good and the rgb just over here over here and here i'll make like that i'll increase this one like that a little bit and decrease a little bit that's good and hit the ok button you're getting the huge change over there now i will apply the uh, just color lookup or other things i'm going to the color lookup from here i'll add the foggy color and i'll make it like that yeah that's good and after that i'll go to the gradient map from the gradient map i'll use the just orange and violet the gradient and i can change this one i can change like uh, like that and hit the ok button and ok and make it the soft light if you make it soft light you'll get the color like that ok i do like this type of color better than this color ok and you are getting nice effect and other things the color actually the color is uh, I think the decent color okay I'm just selecting all the layers and making it group making it a snapshot and going to the filter and the neat collection using the neat collection I'll add another just a filter over there and it will be more posh or decent you can tell okay yes uh, I am using the cross processing uh, here is uh, other filters you can uh, choose filter from here you can use another filter whatever you want and from here uh, I'll use a warming filter actually uh, just finding out the filters actually this one is good or this one I think this one is good and hit the ok button it will take time to load your image and give the output over there uh, in yes the color just uh, I need to adjust the highlight actually so that's why I'm going to the adjustment layer and level from the level I'll make it like that okay and just going to the curves from the curves from the HSL curves just selecting here and add some drama like that yeah that's good that is the moody color or you can use a dramatic tone over there and selecting uh, if you want to add uh, other filters you can add but I'm not adding today okay I'm just making it group making it merge after that I want to increase the sharpness of this image that's why I'm just making just another layer of this and after that go to the blending mode and make it vivid light okay whoa don't be afraid I'll apply another things go to the filter from the other options go to the high pass from the high pass option just uh, select uh, or just zoom it out okay make it one or two when you are getting the uh, shadow in this um, uh, just ash window uh, don't uh, make the color like that or value like that it will be like that otherwise and you should make it one or two that's enough I will make it two two no one one point five that's decent and hit the ok button and select these two layers make it group make it merge okay our picture is ready you are getting a nice a polite more decent color tone better than the previous I think okay thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend in the next video i am asimarif signing out and bye bye